Great white sharks have always intrigued me, but it wasn't until I filmed them from above that I really gained a true admiration for this creature. From above, I witnessed some pretty amazing moments in 2021. Here is part two of my collection. I witnessed moments like this. Watch this lone shark knife through a giant bait ball. From above, you can see the anchovies make way for this apex predator. A remarkable sight to witness, sometimes just a mile away from one of America's most popular beaches, the sharks were easily visible from the air. Here's a very close encounter I filmed this fall. I've not shared this before, but the behavior this shark exhibits is intriguing. I've often noted that the sharks love to double back on a subject after making an initial encounter. That's exactly what happens here. Notice the paddleboarder doesn't realize the shark actually came right behind him after appearing to have left. I've filmed white sharks along the beaches from San Diego to Santa Barbara. It is clear to me this is a very special place on this planet. It's important to note that the sharks I film in Southern California are typically different in size, behavior, and maturity than the sharks filmed in places like Australia, South Africa, and even Northern California. While attacks are very rare worldwide, it's wise to remember that these sharks are mostly juveniles. But at the same time, juveniles do account for most shark encounters that involve contact. The warm, shallow bays of Southern California are ideal nurseries for these young sharks. It is where I film interactions like this. But it's not always white sharks I film. Here's a group of leopard sharks I captured recently. I am witness to some pretty amazing nature on the coast of California. Unfortunately, I'm also witness to the footprint we as humans leave behind. This is Arrow. I first discovered this injured shark in August of 2020, and the last time I saw it was in January of 2021. I've been searching for it since. It's an injury like I've never seen before. A long line fishing injury is the likely cause. In my search for Arrow, I've discovered many more injured sharks. Sharks like this one, with an oversized hook in its mouth, just yards from the shore. Others like this one, dragging a fishing leader that consequently cut into its caudal fin. Or this one with a boat propeller strike across its back. It's devastating to see. Clips like this one that show a significant injury to the dorsal fin, likely caused by fishing line or a boat strike, are also disappointing. The footprint we leave behind is not just seen in injuries. Here is a boat that ran aground in May of this year, leaving hundreds of pounds of debris. Much of it brought the curiosity out in many sharks. I filmed this interaction for over 30 minutes. This shark, which also has scars from a boat strike on its back, was extremely interested in this debris. You can see its eyes roll back into its head in textbook manner as it investigates this debris. On another beach, on the same day I filmed this interaction, with what's essentially a baby great white shark just exploring the texture of a carton discarded into the water. This shark is perhaps so new to the world it's likely the first time it's seen a piece of trash, and sadly, it will not be the last. Most of the clearest and detailed footage I've captured this year is of white sharks at the surface. It's the shots at the surface from the side that are the hardest to get. This is the angle where if I am lucky, I can get a view of their beautiful underside. I film sharks displaying very intriguing behaviors. This is one of my favorite clips of the year. Notice how this white shark lifts its head and eye out of the water. Here's another clip of a shark possibly everting its stomach. Whether it's a white shark diving for rays, or it's a shark surfing a wave, or more rare footage like this of a white shark inverting itself to scratch its back on the ocean floor, they always do something that captivates me. None more captivating than what I discovered in this clip. A location so unique 
that I've witnessed sharks gathering by the dozens, like clockwork, every single evening, alongside hundreds of rays. It's unlike any place I've ever seen before. Can you count how many sharks are in this clip? This makes me excited for what I will film in 2022. And only time will tell what discoveries await me here. The California coast is full of life. It is where I have observed sharks this year, usually in water so shallow that their shadows would appear on the ocean floor. The sharks typically glide unnoticed by the masses. Folks ask me all the time, how far out are they? And each time I say, they are nearby, just beyond the waves. If there's one thing I've noticed while filming these sharks, it is that you can always expect humans to be just as curious. The surfing community in California knows the sharks share the water with them. And although most surfers don't see them immediately, the times when I've observed surfers acknowledge they saw a shark next to them, like in this clip, they continue surfing. And sometimes the humans do also display that natural curiosity. The dynamic in Southern California is much different than other parts of the world. That must be acknowledged. What is it about sharks that captivates us? Just a glimpse of one is on many people's lists of things to see in their lifetime. I know it was once on mine. Observing them so frequently has changed my perspective of the ocean so much, and it has helped me to realize the importance of these animals in our local ecosystem. I wanted to observe them in the grandest of places, somewhere where the water is blue. That desire led me to Isla Guadalupe in 2021. It's a place where I filmed these animals in their adult size, from above, up close, and in full detail. And for the first time from beneath the water, I gained a new perspective of these animals and witnessed them in crystal clear water. I made eye contact with them from just a couple feet away I witness them interacting with each other, much like they do when they are young. And I experienced a moment that will forever be engraved in my memory. I filmed the largest shark I have ever seen, just an arm length away from me. And just like nature, the unexpected was the most memorable. I found a whale shark nearby. That's the moment I knew I may film something special something very rare and possibly the only drone footage of its kind. A whale shark and a great white shark together. Filming these large sharks with other species, their interactions in crystal clear water has convinced me I must go back. But whether it was seeing countless dolphins or admiring the incredible patterns formed by rays in the Sea of Cortez, or filming a juvenile whale shark in the shallows, I know it was an amazing year. One that even brought me, for the first time, the opportunity to film a bull shark from above, adding yet another species for me to explore into the future with all my curiosity. I've mentioned before that nature displays patterns, like the amazing patterns of these mobula rays when viewed from above formations that took my breath away. Whether they are scars or the dots that grace a whale shark, I've realized that now is the time to do all I can to admire, respect, and protect this precious environment so that perhaps future generations can afford the chance to see these sights. So they too can enjoy these wonderful creatures of the ocean and to understand that each animal is important, large or small. There's an awesome world out there, and it's closer than you think, often just behind the waves of a California beach. Sometimes all you have to do 
is look. 